episode of Kate in the City. Uh, today I want to just have you take a look at what I found really quickly. All right, I want to talk about container gardening, okay? It's so important, especially when you have small spaces, okay, or not a lot of dirt, you're renting. Um, I've went over a lot of these reasons in some of my previous videos, um, which you can also check out. Um, but, you know, uh, there's often a lot of that goes into container gardening. Um, you have to really make sure that you're feeding your plants more so than if you planted them in the ground, okay, because um, all of those vitamins and nutrients and beneficial bacteria that are in the dirt in your ground are constantly being renewed by other plants around it decaying, uh, whereas in a container, you're not getting that renewable resource of those uh, vitamins and mineral. So you really need to make, uh, pay attention to your soil. And then you have the cost also of buying the containers themselves. And now I know this is a one-time cost, but it can be costly. I mean, you, you know, you go to Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart or your local uh, greenhouse and you can buy pots to put your plants in, but they can be upwards of 20, 30, 40, $50. And that can get really expensive. So I just wanna take a minute and kind of show you what I do to drastically cut down my costs. All right, guys, so check this out. All right, I have all of these. They're not all hanging baskets, but a lot of them are. And I mean, if I count them, I got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, I think, and even 20 pots right here. And I didn't buy a single one of these. I got these all on the side of the road, okay? Now it's getting towards the end of the growing season where people are throwing out a lot of their summer flowers along with the baskets um, and buying new, all right? Right now um, it's a good time for moms in New York. And I mean, these are perfectly good baskets and, or pots that you could be planting in, all right? And pretty much all you would have to do is you would just have to make sure that you get some really hot soapy water, uh, maybe you know a cap full of bleach in there, and just wash them out really good because you don't want to transfer any type of diseases to any of your plants. All right, but I can go ahead and show you what I have over here so you can kind of get an idea of what I do with these. All right, guys, and if you take a look, here is one of the hanging baskets that I found on the side of the road I decided to pick up. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I mean, look, it's got this little hanger, you know, it's got a nice metal hook, you know, so it's not going to easily break. And if you watched my earlier video on my AliExpress, um, which I will put down in a link below, you'll see that these were all um, some of my plants that didn't really mature into large plants, so I put all of them into this one hanging basket and I can always separate them out later if they decide to grow huge and get root you know before they get root bound um, but I got one two three four five six seven I got eight plants in this one little basket and I can even bring this inside um, if it gets too cold outside which is really good because it's much more versatile than just planting into the ground um, you can really plant pretty much anything in a pot um, it just depends. You got to make sure that you have a pot that's going to be large enough in order to facilitate uh, proper root growth for your vegetable. And I'll actually give you a couple of links on, um, you know, suggested pot sizes for different vegetables down below. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching another episode of Kate in the City. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe down below. And most important, make sure you share.